Check out what I found. I was looking around in a charity store in Birmingham. Found they had a, a new cabinet full of old cameras, mainly little point and shoots. Nothing major at all. Found this at the bottom, Olympus XA1 with the electronic flash A9M. I've really been searching for the Olympus XA, not at the typical eBay prices. So I was really happy when I found this. Of course, it's not the Olympus XA, but when I asked them if it works, they said, well, we don't know. They let me take it apart and have a look. So of course I did that, checked it out. Had a little Google to see if there's anything I needed to look out for. Asked them the price, they said two pounds. So I had 153 in change. I said, I'm gonna come back in just a moment. Just gonna go and get the cash. She said, no, 150 is fine. So I got this for 150. Of course I got the camera and the flash. Nice little case that it come in. And the original instruction book. A couple of pages missing. That's cool. Nice little thing there. And there it is. You open it up to reveal the 35mm f4 Olympus D Zuiko lens. Might have said that wrong. Forgive me. And yeah, very nice. Close it there. It's very simple. Um, very, very simple. Let's have a little run through. In fact, to do so, I'll show you first of all how you remove the flash. Just turn a little screw there and you're away. Nice and simple. There's the screw. That's the flash unit. One little flick switch there. Battery compartment for your one standard AA battery. Some instructions. It's very limited. Sure, it can be used. Uh, to some good effects. And the same with the camera, very limited but dead small, look at that. Uses selenium exposure system, so it's batteryless. Brilliant if you need something to just pocket it away if you're in the middle of the jungle or you just can't be bothered to use batteries, lazy person that you are. It's got a little toggle at the bottom for if you're going to use the flash. Notice this here, turn it the right way for you. It only accepts 100 or 400 speed. I thought, well, let's go and grab a 200 speed Agfa from Poundland and see how it gets on. Because I had nothing on me at the time and I was in the center. Thought I'd stick it in the middle there. Probably not a great idea, so I put it back to 100. And you'll see what happened shortly. On the top there, you've got the winder. Pretty cheap little thing. Pull it up as with all, most of film cameras and there's the inside nice and clean nice and tidy and actually I haven't gone at it yet to give it a thorough clean but it seems pretty good let's open up ding 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 there you go very nice quiet plastic uh, nice you know it's just a good fun little camera that uh for some reason doesn't want to close. Ah, there we go. Don't mess about with that while you've got the the lens open. Because that's just stupid. There's your, your trigger, your shutter release. It's got no lock system at all, so you'd need to be very careful with that. But it's a nice basic little camera. I uh, forgot to mention, obviously, the release at the bottom for unwinding. That works simply enough. It was fairly tricky getting the film to connect, so stick it in there, probably hold it down, wind it a few times, fire off a couple. In fact, fired off a couple thinking I wouldn't get anything off them. They were just to get the thing rolling, and they uh, they actually did, so cool. But it's extremely basic. It's a fixed focus as well. Universal focus, 1.5 meters or 5 foot, so you know, deal with that. ASA 100-400 or ISO so that's the specs there and you can pause that and take a look if it's of any interest to you but as it happens I got some results which is pretty cool and I'm going to show you those next I would say that this is probably going to live on my shelf now because I've got a bunch of other cameras that I want to use and I want to get the XA because it's a, it's a lot more flexible but this was fun 
you know. I used AG Photos to get the negs ready, although I scanned them myself on a cheap machine, uh, and yeah. Anything decent, I'm going to get them to AG to scan them into because that will come out a lot better. Nice little fun camera, dead small, um, well worth £1.50 or I don't know, dollars, two dollars. So pretty cool. Or if you're in Colombia, cuatro mil pesos. So let's check out the sample shots and see if we got anything worth messing about with. <laughs> 